always better, I hope. Okay, so thank you very much once again. And I'd like to start our panel discussion about the course and about the, um, our conference. Uh, first of all, I'd like to really thank you, my colleagues, for participating uh, in the course. It was a great experience for me. Uh, I can honestly say that I learned a lot from you. So thank you, Abel, Miroslav, Martin, uh, Professor Francesco, uh, Pasquale, Elisabetta, and Piotr, who will come uh, in a few minutes here. And uh, let me now pass over uh, to Martin to ask him for some uh, summary. Okay, thank you. So uh, I don't know if I'm a proper person to, to uh, sum it up, uh, but uh, I have several notes uh, about uh, maybe the past and then and the present, and maybe we, we uh, want also discuss the future of, of the course, not only our personal wishes, as you presented there, and it was very nice, so I enjoy it, but uh, maybe uh, some of you are even curious if uh, there is some future of, of the course, because we, we invest Actually, Carolina invest a lot, but, but uh, a lot of us uh, did something, and, and we, we want to, uh, to cooperate, maybe uh, not only in, within this course. So maybe two, uh, two remarks uh, from the history. We started to cooperate uh, under the 4 u Plus, uh, I think, in 2000, 2018, and, and we also established a co uh, coordinator of internationalization here, and this is Adela, and, and, and she was not only responsible for organization, but she can also participate. And then, uh, it was by chance, I don't know, I don't even remember how we get uh, in to this course, but it was on the last minute, I, I would say. So I was a bit hesitated if we can uh, even succeed, but then I was quite surprised that we succeeded and it's getting better and better. And this is present, and I'm quite lucky that there are, uh, okay, so I'm not very lucky that, are, that there are only, only three geographical students, but uh, we can survive in even these historians and a lot of lawyers. Uh, and, and we, we, we uh, would be, a, and, and I was surprised that we, we can have, what's my point, that there are some uh, common, common topics. Yeah, so this is, this is really interesting. Uh, for me, that there are maybe some open uh, open spaces for cooperation, not only with students, uh, but maybe also uh, with people from from the in individual departments of our faculties. And then uh, maybe two sentences about the future. So uh, Carolina uh, asked us if if we are willing to to uh, continue with uh, within the course. Of course, uh, considering uh, the support uh, from uh, our individual rectorate or individual universities, these are very, very different. So as I understood, uh, support from the Warsaw University was quite, quite nice, and so I must say it here. Uh, but I can also say that, that uh, we discussed it together with, uh, uh, with Milano colleagues and that the support from our university should be, uh, should be better. And especially what is uh, what is important because it's our job. Uh, it is not maybe uh, let's say um, sustainable to to do it uh, uh, to do it like voluntary acti activity. And maybe we, we can somehow squeeze it into the study plans of uh, of our um, maybe master studies or some something like that. So definitely uh, we expect it. Uh, more support from from the alliance and and it was quite big project huge project and uh, so at the, at the beginning there was president macron and and uh, uh, agreement of all rectors so and it is a bit uh, delayed or is a bit different than this expectation so everything we do especially uh, due to activity of, of carolina and and and, uh, and other participants not too much support from uh, from uh, from especially our university. So I believe that uh, it will uh, improve somehow and that we will be able to, uh, to maintain uh, the, uh, the team and that also some 
money will be at least for, for the future, uh, future expenditures, at least for students uh, to, to cover, uh, I don't know, conference, two conference, either in Milan or in Paris, maybe. Maybe in Prague, but Prague. Prague, Prague is not that nice city. <laughs> okay, so, uh, <laughs> and again, I want, uh, again, uh, so several times we, we, we say uh, that uh, it is, for the first, uh, it's Carolina effort, and uh, again, con not only thank you, but congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. <laughs> and uh, now I'd like to ask my uh, colleague uh, about the similar um, subject as uh, Piotr asked to you. We know what you learn from the course, and I'm really curious what have we learned. Maybe we could something better. Uh, let me uh, pass the voice, the floor to Adele. Adele. Please. I'm just looking what is missing from this uh, list, and I think it's somehow all there, and we summarize that. Especially we, we started with this project without even knowing each other, but what we shared was somehow a common vision and, and will to participate and uh, collaborate, so um, maybe, I don't know if it's what I have learned, <laughs> but uh, definitely it's good to recognize uh, some qualities and Okay, uh, my, my comment uh, would be that, uh, uh, first of all, the, the, course that's, the course was international. There was no doubt for EU plus and students from different places, so it was, it was international. Uh, the question is, was it really interdisciplinary? Uh, we, we've had uh, representatives of different disciplines, uh, but I think that to make a course like this really interdisciplinary, we need uh, definitely more time. And it leads me to the next point about logistics, that uh, it would be good if we, if we had at the beginning meeting like this, seminar, so we can sit and and it would be important for participants, for all of us, for students and for, for staff involved uh, in this project. So uh, I think that knowing each other a little better at the beginning will help definitely, especially when you, when you have to, to work via internet using all this media. And uh, you managed uh, very well, you did it. So. Uh, I really admire you because I don't really like, you know, to s this kind of contact, but, but definitely it's a kind of uh, technical and logistic success. And I also think that uh, meeting like this at the beginning, like an opening, opening seminar or opening conference, uh, even if the course is ready, even if we reach consensus about how we should proceed, what topics shall be covered, etc., I think that uh, someone said today that maybe this is uh, no, it's not this flip chart, but someone said that it's important to set uh, to set priorities, to set expectations, goals, etc., etc., and I think that uh, in projects like this, uh, it would be good if we could confront our ideas and uh, with your ideas. Uh, we are coming from more or less the same cultural circle, but 
there are differences and, and your interests are also different. So, so um, I think that uh, from the point of view of organization, uh, it would be fruitful meeting like this and then this course would be structured uh, maybe better and we will all benefit a little more. Although we, we've been benefited, so, so that's okay. I'm not, it's not a kind of criticism. This is just what uh, came to my mind after uh, yesterday and after today. Uh, after today' presentation, discussion, and this workshop. <laughs> I'm back. Can I? Okay. Okay. Um, I I would like uh, first of all, uh, I think, uh, only um, also in uh, representing my colleagues from Milan that um, thank you very much for your welcome in Warsaw and uh, many congratulations to, to you and uh, especially to, to the students. I really appreciate the presentations and uh, all your speeches. I just would like to uh, highlight some uh, key some advantages of the, the course, some keywords, interdisciplinary, cooperation between students and professors and the international context. So the interdisciplinary is uh, evident you know, it's in, uh, in this course and uh, it's very um, interesting to analyze uh, the same topic under different point of views. And uh, also I think uh, an advantage is the cooperation uh, between uh, in the interaction uh, between all of you, um, even though you know you work uh, mainly uh, online, so I hope that in the future we have uh, more opportunities uh, to uh, to see each other in this. Uh, I mean, together in presence. Uh, I think uh, to be in presence helps the cooperation uh, and uh, the interaction in, uh, you know, in a better in a better way and um, I think uh, uh, another, another point is the international context uh, and uh, you see that uh, by uh, dealing with the uh, same topics uh, you can have a general perspective uh, from uh, uh, different uh, disciplines so I think this is another, another advantage. So I hope that the course will be taken also uh, the next year and hopefully with more students and uh, hopefully to see each other in another beautiful city. <laughs> uh, just a few words from myself. Uh, thanks a lot for the perfect organization and the hospitality here uh, in uh, Varsavia. Mm, just, uh, uh, and uh, obviously congratulations to the students for their efforts, uh, their uh, brilliant uh, presentations. Uh, just a comment uh, from uh, a lawyer perspective. I think uh, each jurisdiction has uh, its own uh, law, so each national law is in a way a discipline. So it would be uh, useful for law students to have the possibility to organize a joint work on a specific uh, topic, you know, just to interact in terms of comparative law. It could be an experience of comparative law, which is very important, obviously, for the future of our uh, law students. You obviously well understand this point, uh, Carolina. Mm. So uh, this is the, um, just the point. So I would like to see, in fact, in the future, a group of lawyers which uh, address uh, one topic together and give the perspective of their own jurisdiction and their own uh, say legal method that may be different in different jurisdictions. Thank you. Yes, okay. I'm the last one. Okay, I'm the last one. And uh, really, uh, I have to say thanks to all of you because while we were organizing this course, uh, it was really not easy because we met uh, uh, virtually and we always discussed, so like in the, in the first meetings, uh, 
uh, which could be a, 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 a common topic. Uh, and uh, I always said, okay, it's not easy because I, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm te teaching law and in Italian we use uh, some specific notion to explain you know, some meanings. Uh, and so also this one could be a problem uh, during the, 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 the lectures. He said yesterday while you were presenting your papers, you were all, uh, you were all great because you could uh, uh, explain uh, all the, 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 the topics in a, di a different way from your country, but also from your faculty. And this is amazing because you study, I don't know, if we think about Milano Cortina, you study such topic and I know that uh, you are all from different countries. Uh, there weren't some legals uh, from Italy and I know that this was uh, an issue for you. And I imagine that uh, this problem you could also find uh, with the other groups. Uh, so you are really, really great. Uh, and thanks for your participation. And I hope that uh, in your life, also in the working experience, uh, you will understand that it's useful to have not only a legal point of view, but also a geographic one, and of course, uh, an, historian, uh, a, a, an historian too. So thanks for the participation. Thanks to Carolina. Thanks to my colleague, uh, because it was a great experience for me. Uh, maybe everything is done positive, so I, I maybe uh, have some critical remarks. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, considering, uh, okay, so and, and the context is that uh, uh, all of you are from, let's say, humanities, and we are also social geographers, but on the other hand, uh, so my training is even uh, natural sciences. I'm based on the Faculty of Natural Sciences together with chemists and biologists in this uh, so sometimes, uh, what is what is needed, in especially there, there are a lot of uh, uh, criticism uh, for for different policies, and if you want to to, uh, to produce policy, so uh, you should uh, it, these policies should should be uh, something like evidence based policy, so not based on feelings, on let's say your young brains and radical meanings. But I think, especially lawyers, it is done. Yeah, so there is legislative, and you must say, OK, it is. And if you're attorney, so you must say yes or not. It is not open question. You must say if it is proper or not. And this is, this is the same in natural sciences. And if you plan, for example, master plan, if you do master plan, so you must say it is proper uh, to, to have their kind of logistic hall or residential area. And, and you need then analysis for that and data. Yeah, so don't uh, remember or remember that, that you need, uh, and especially our students, they are trained uh, in analy analysis of, of uh, the environment. So, and I a bit missed this, this point, but sometimes it was not evidence-based, but more feeling-based. It's good because we need also some some uh, maybe perspective from or different perspective and and we must uh, let's say push on uh, on uh, policy makers and decision sphere but on the other hand uh, you should try uh, also be uh, for example in position uh, of our institute of planning and development where many our uh, students then uh, work. And it is very important to, to have this uh, experience. So maybe uh, we should invite uh, uh, next year someone from uh, this decision sphere or maybe planners, not only academicians. Because it is, uh, from, from my experience, it is very useful because, okay, so they are able to answer your uh, critical uh, questions better than academicians. So this is my, my point, maybe plan for, for the future. And definitely we are able to, to invite uh, planners or uh, people who work in NGOs and, and, and commercial sector. Uh, and they are not, um, 
that older than, than you, maybe some five years, but they have experience from, from the practice. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, if, if I may, I, I also would like to answer this, my questions. Uh, what have I learned? I think that I learned a lot, really. Uh, when I tried to thinking about this and read the course, I, I thought that I knew something about the city, uh, but it wasn't true. <laughs> when I met my colleagues, and um, I realized that there are so many perspectives I didn't see as a lawyer, so it's um, it's very open. Uh, op I open my eyes uh, for a city, for a space in the city planning and so on. And the second uh, question question was what uh, what could we do better? Mm, I think that a lot could be good better, uh, especially in didactic. Always uh, didactic can be uh, better and we can improve it. Mm, even it's uh, the same subject uh, from year to year. But uh, what uh, I, I, I think that we maybe not missed, but we didn't think about that. Uh, that was a kind of uh, description, the description of ideas of urban planning through the history. I, I think that I don't know this knowledge. Uh, probably uh, our colleagues uh, from geography and from history um, know it. And it uh, let's say something obvious for us, but we don't have an idea about that. How the uh, urban space uh, were developed through the ages. So that's, that's the part I'd like to add if I will have a chance. Uh, uh, we are answering for the questions, two questions. What have you learned and what could we uh, do better in our course? What can we do better? We can do everything better. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry for being late. But I had to, I had to move some furniture in my room because my room is going to be painted on Monday. <laughs> the painters told me that I have to move the furniture in order to get my room painted. Uh, what was the question? What what did I learn from the course? I think, I think that the most valuable experience for me uh, after this course. Uh, it was the experience of conducting a course for a very uh, big uh, group of students with different cultural background. I think that this is how the university should look like, and I hope that this is how it will look in five, maybe ten years. I hope so. Uh, yes, and uh, this experience helped me to address, to, to, to discover even more weak points in me, in myself, uh, and uh, it helped me to address them better, I guess, I hope. So, yes, this is my uh, most important thought right now, and I have to think about some other thoughts. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to uh, ask one last question for our lecturer. What was surprising for you at Anuri? <coughs> yeah. uh, I was uh, quite amazed by, the, by your papers and your presentations. They were uh, extremely well executed. When I compare them to works uh, carried out by my Polish students, who are very good students because our faculty is the best historical faculty in Poland. Uh, but uh, it, 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 your presentations really, they, they, they were something special. And uh, I was also very, uh, well, the way in which you um, discussed 
your uh, findings was also very impressive. Not only for me, but I know that my, my, my colleagues were also very impressed by it. And uh, yes, this, this was, I guess, the, the, the most uh, interesting factor for me. Very positive. thinking but uh, well the first, the first thing that came to my mind was definitely that um, it is always a challenge to to put your brains together especially from that kind of distance distance of especially spatial but then uh, it's not like you had the opportunity before to meet and uh, work together but you really have to somehow adopt to your everyday duties and uh, to find um, a time when all of you can meet and, and work together. Uh, maybe that was uh, in different ways challenging because maybe you are free but you are maybe not so up for actually working on, on that uh, at that moment but you have to adopt because that was the only free time uh, for, for every one of you. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy about the outcomes, and I understand this uh, challenge. Um, but then again, like I, I think that you are all great, so I, I was sure that it's going to be uh, a really successful outcome. It's hard to say what, what, what defines surprise. I've noticed and appreciated uh, your um, social and political passion, even commitment not to change, to make better our city. That reminded me certain uh, legal literature about uh, the city as a, as a community, no? human beings of citizens that try to create the condition, the environment in which the human personality can develop uh, completely. So this is my remark. Yes, we, we were talking yesterday with some of you about uh, how uh, I was impressed by your uh, presentation and how you uh, um, speak, uh, spoke in, uh, in public. Um, so you, you were uh, very, uh, very fluent. Uh, I know in my experience that uh, this is not easy for, I mean, to, to speak uh, fluently in another language, uh, in front of uh, a new, uh, the, pub, the public, and so I was very impressed of, um, of this kind uh, uh, of uh, attitude. And uh, secondly, uh, I think that uh, another interesting point is that you didn't meet before uh, in presence, so I was impressed how you efficiently work together uh, in, in, in distance, physical distance. So uh, it's, um, I was impressed about these uh, two things. Yes, I don't know if I have to skip the question because they say almost everything. Uh, I was impressed that it works uh, so well, uh, the course, uh, and that you are really uh, pre prepared also in doing all these different stuff. Uh, and uh, yes, maybe this aspect is the most interesting, that you are able to speak properly in public, uh, and it's really something uh, not common, especially in Italy. I don't know if maybe it's, but it's, uh, it's different uh, in, in other countries, because in Italy, unfortunately, we don't have, uh, uh, in the school, in the high school, and also in university, we don't have course about public speaking. But in the end, you will need uh, this uh, uh, aspect always, uh, also in, uh, in working. And so this is really uh, important. Uh, if, I, if I may comment, uh, this, the, the last point, so I think uh, these students are not normal students, so it was something like competition, and, and are, uh, if, if I can uh, somehow 
uh, compare uh, our students from, from our uh, faculties. So definitely these are the most active students and, and uh, probably we will have also uh, maybe next generation and we can, we can compare, but, but the ability to present uh, uh, ideas and things is getting better and better. So I, 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 I teach you know, for 20 years and it is one, uh, it is not our uh, let's say product, but uh, I think they, they learn in even uh, in uh, elementary school and then, then they, they have project and they have presentation. So, and, and the language is better and better. So some of the students speak better than, than, than teachers. Yeah, so it, it, it's good because we can, we can understand and we can learn something. Uh, so, uh, and I have two small surprise, maybe uh, how many lawyers uh, was, was there so uh, especially the faculty of law so there was uh, I don't know three times more lawyers than geographers and it was another surprise that uh, no but no 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 geographer from from Poland so it's it's a pity but only three from 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 Czechia I don't know if any from uh, Italy so maybe one target can be to, to invite not only geographers, but, but uh, uh, there are also sociologists, there are uh, uh, also from, from other universities. Maybe we can open, uh, open the pool. Uh, uh, and one reason is that uh, probably uh, we will pay uh, the cost from, from our sources. So we can, we can open it for, for other parts uh, of the university and they can, they can participate. Yeah. So, and uh, one very small uh, remark is that uh, how important are monuments in our city. So I didn't uh, think about it before. So then it was interesting uh, for me. So I can recognize that even Prague, these monuments, including the tank, uh, so what you wrote about. So uh, I read an article about that and I, 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 uh, I uh, can, uh, can <laughs> participate even when uh, okay so uh, I want to speak about it about this but uh, it is something what what I didn't perceive from my perspective of let's say mapping and data analysis so it, monuments are something new for me okay. <clears throat> nothing really surprised me <laughs> yeah this is bu business bu business as usual I think your presentations, some very good, some good, some good enough. So uh, they were satisfactory. I think that the whole course was a kind of experiment and we survived. And I'm not surprised, <coughs> we had no choice. So, uh, so what, what I really missed and I'm not surprised because I'm a very sociable person and I need <coughs> contacts with students, uh, interactions between us. I mean, when you, when you are sitting, staring at the screen, speaking, and you just see, you know, sometimes faces, sometimes just uh, uh, pictures or something like this, it's not, it's not the same. The only <coughs> reaction, very concrete reaction that I had after my workshop or lecture was that one student from Prague, she asked me about literature on gender and planning. I don't know whether you are here today with us, but she asked me and I responded, not immediately, but I equip, equipped her with what she wanted to have for her study. So <coughs> surprisingly, I'm not surprised and uh, it was good, and I hope to, to, to continue this, and maybe we'll have a chance you know, to see each other, that our paths will cross again in the future. Thank you, thank you very much. Mm, uh, I was uh, surprised of uh, this uh, conducting a lecture a workshop parallel with others. Uh, it's, it, it was my first uh, experience uh, to have lesson like that. Uh, we don't do it in 
um, Polish uh, uh, learning system at all. Um, even if, um, for example, with my, my colleague, I uh, have one seminar together, we have to split the hours because they don't pay me and her. <laughs> so half of the seminar is her, half is mine. Uh, so it was a really great uh, opportunity um, to, to conduct this. Yeah, it was very challenging. I like especially, especially this workshop um, in December, I think, with Adele, Martin, and uh, Piotr. It was our little team on the workshops. And I, I hope that you enjoy it also. Okay, so maybe some uh, more comments mm -hmm. ah, yeah, maybe yeah. from from the side of the lecturer. No? Okay, so I, I'd like now give a voice uh, to you, to our uh, participants. We don't have enough time uh, uh, yesterday for discussion. Maybe you'd like to add something. I don't believe it. <laughs> yes, maybe you can tell us uh, what we can improve uh, of the course uh, for next year. That is really the end. What was wrong? Yeah, <laughs> what was wrong? <laughs> Why only two? I just want to ask uh, if uh, I'll give it to you next. If like the next course, like next UNRED will be more like open to people who was on this one, or if it will be more like for new students? Yeah. We have to think about it. Maybe. You can organize it for, for others. <laughs> if it is believing for us. For free. <laughs> uh, my point was about the time of the conference and the workshop yeah. and everything. And I think it would be a little bit better if we had a less time to write the essay because it would force us not to drag it out so much. And then the conference would feel more connected to the course because we're basically in the middle of the next semester and we're still finishing course from the semester before. So the lectures that we had for this course happened a long time ago. And like if we move it a little bit closer, it will feel more of like a continuation of the course and everything would feel more compact. Because like me personally, I started another for you plus course this semester. So like everything's a bit mushy mushy for me and like it's all connected together and if we separate it a bit more we can focus on the thing and we can like sort of lose less time with the course because the essay we had a lot of time to write it and it wasn't that long and I think that made us spend more time on it than we had to and it wasn't quality time it was a bit of like dragging it out um, sorry um, I just wanted to say like maybe I think it was um, one of the ideas um, to do a first conference at the beginning of the course um, to meet everyone because um, actually if we have, if we have to choose between uh, a conference at the beginning or a conference at the end um, I think maybe meeting everyone um, at the beginning would like um, put us in a position to know uh, who we're going to work with and uh, get to know the people that we will be working with during the rest of the year uh, before actually having to text them or to like, yeah. Um, because I think it was kind of awkward sometimes to have to work into groups with people that we've never seen before and it, it was really hard for me at this. So yeah, maybe a first panel at the beginning of the year to introduce ourselves, I don't know. Uh, if I may comment this one, so there is an intention of for EU Plus Alliance to, to have uh, dif a bit different than this hybrid form and it's so-called uh, plug-in modules and that uh, each let's say, department or institution will prepare uh, something by bundle or group of, of, of the subjects and, and you will be able to, to be uh, in present uh, in different intention not for one course, but for the future cooperation uh, in the world with six institution uh, for EU plus, but it's, it's future, yeah, so just information. Okay, well, for me, um, 
maybe one positive and one uh, not negative, but it's similar to what Nicola said. Um, so the positive is I really like the focus on the regulations and the memory that we really maybe focused more on the historical and the regulatory side of uh, urban studies in general, which I thought was really positive because I've encountered it before and it's very interesting, but maybe others haven't. Uh, maybe the aspect of like the exact data driven was missing, but also then it's important to actually study how people perceive the city, how they live in it, and the issues with monuments and political memory is, is awesome. I really like this focus of the course. And then maybe, as Nicola said, it was, uh, first of all, maybe the hardest course for five credits I've ever had to complete. Maybe this speaks something about the courses I've done before, maybe this speaks something about this course, I don't know. But maybe that's something to think about, that it was uh, a lot of work and, you know, some students might be discouraged by this. But in the end, it was completely worth it because it was awesome, this conference is great, and I'm really glad we get to participate. But be careful because you have the highest uh, point uh, or credits uh, than, 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 more, 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 more than others, so we can change it even. <laughs> I just wanted to make a quick comment about um, promotion of this course because I don't know how others found out uh, uh, that this course even exists, but I found out uh, on Instagram. So <laughs> um, I think that um, our um, home universities should promote this course more and it would have uh, definitely more participants because it's interesting for students. They just don't know it exists. And uh, through, through which channel uh, you'd like to have this uh, information? Via your mail from your faculty or website? From our teachers, maybe? Yes. Mm. From yeah. teachers. Yeah. Every university is supposed to have uh, uh, its own for you class branch administrative branch and some of these yes i know i know sorbonne is a s special uh, <laughs> it's a special place <laughs> uh, and not all these branches uh, uh, work the way uh, in which they are supposed to work um, and we are trying to because my wife works at polish branch of for you plus and she tells me that she is trying to motivate her colleagues from from Czechia, uh, France, and uh, Denmark, because Denmark is also in this project. <laughs> you probably, some of you probably don't even know about it. <laughs> so so uh, we are constantly trying to motivate them to, to promote these projects, and uh, we see an improvement, so. I will do my part of the promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I think, <laughs> but uh, uh, frankly speaking, I think that it would be maybe something good also for our students to take a part in this promotion. I know that you are recording some films for us, yes, some, some, uh, yes. Uh, so maybe this would also be some, some idea to, to, to pursue. But on the other hand, we had, uh, I think, one more student than was just locked up. <laughs> not, in, not in at the beginning. So, we we'll limited yeah. the number to 36, and we have 36 in the beginning, and after that, some uh, resigned. Yeah. yeah, but it's normal, I think, like, like in another group. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. One more voice, yeah? So no, I think it goes back to the issue about promotion. I think that uh, uh, the students group, uh, as uh, the other professor pointed out, is mainly low students. And I like you guys, don't get me wrong, but uh, I think the issue is that, for example, me, I'm from history, so I didn't have the opportunity of comparing my studies with other history students from Prague or from Warsaw. So I, have, I had to do my research eventually on these projects on my own 
without the help of another student. And this also led uh, to finish the paper to have low student work on historical issues, which is clearly not appropriate, I guess. And uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, and this became an issue which maybe should be solved in the future with the promotion because uh, she said that uh, in, uh, I think you're from Czechia, yeah? So Instagram, well, in Italy, the history department gave us an email from the teacher, an email from the faculty, and we had the website of the faculty who had the like homepage. So it kind of helped us. And then, well, the teachers also were helpful to bring us to this, let's say, path. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, when it comes to this um, number of uh, law students from uh, Charles University, I'd like to uh, really thank you, Teresa Peterlin, uh, not Teresa, not this Teresa, uh, <laughs> Teresa Fabshikova, who uh, uh, isn't with us today, but she uh, made a great job. Um, yeah, really, with, with your participation. <laughs> okay, uh, have we got some more voices? First of all, I would like to thank all of you for organization, especially Carolina, because I think uh, I sent her many emails and she replied to me like, immediately every time. So I'm very thankful for that. And I have never seen such a like uh, dedication from a teacher, I would say. Like, <laughs> not, I think, come on. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, <laughs> so uh, and uh, for the course itself, I, yeah, I, uh, I give uh, to you from expectations point and uh, but I would like to like explain uh, why that is it's because I think it's useful also for the course organizers uh, because I had impression that the course is more more about like looking to the future and to the regulation standpoint because urban planning uh, is my like, hobby I would say and I, I, I go to like some institutions in Prague that are dedicated to um, urban planning so I was expecting more of the like regulations uh, perspective and uh, the future perspective. Uh, so that that is why my uh, expectations were like a little bit different. But uh, I wasn't uh, I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> Definitely not. And uh, the course overall, I think, has a great social uh, level that uh, was very I think useful for everyone. Thank you. comment maybe on, on our group projects, the essays maybe for me at the beginning there could be something like uh, some more guidance how to make such interdisciplinary essay uh, in the first place because we came, you know, different universities, different approaches in many ways, not only the actual fields we, we study. So I think we had problem to agree on one topic which would kind of cover the history, geography or in that case so sociology and the law. So after all, at least our project was really a mix of different ideas, as you have seen, uh, which I think wasn't really the goal. So maybe in the beginning, I would like to see some more guidance how to actually do such interdisciplinary work, because I think it's very difficult even for PhD students or people who involved with these topics uh, longer. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, well, I may comment this. So what? So it's again a bit criticism. Uh, what I missed in your introductory part uh, was three things. One is a uh, sentence. The main objective of our study is. It's missing in all uh, presentations and all, es all essays. Yeah, so try, try to, uh, and, and then you can even ask. And there are some questions sometimes. And each question means uh, each chapter of, of the paper. Yeah, so this is something that is very important. And then the argument. So there's something like argument, what do you expect? And then uh, maybe something like relevance. And some of, some of your, uh, let's say, descriptive uh, parts, uh, they're not relevant because uh, it was repeated. I, I don't know how, how to write about history. I am not historian, but you 
should uh, maybe use different uh, materials from archive or your, I don't know, uh, but in case of, of geography, for example, I, I missed, for example, sources for some information. So there was one information which I don't believe that uh, that number of cars in Prague are uh, lower, uh, I don't know, seven times than, than in Paris, but there, there were no sources for, for that. So, yeah. Or 12, yeah. So, uh, so just think maybe if, if you want to improve the essay, so first uh, I would add the main objective or main aim is, and this is not an analysis itself, so the way is not uh, the aim, so it is for other discipline than, than research. So uh, what, what, is, what is at the end? So I want to understand something, I want to explain and maybe also predict something. So it's your uh, it, it's your maybe aim and could be yeah so uh, it, it is missing and just maybe when when you will start next uh, and some of you will will work uh, definitely geographers will work in, in white team together with I don't know economists sociologists architects etc historians uh, maybe even lawyers so uh, you must concretize the aim and, and it was the same uh, during the workshop so there was uh, something uh, very useful this is smart even I don't like the, the board because it, it means that everything before was silly yeah, so we have smart cities and before what we have we have silly city so <laughs> okay so just a comment legal profile of your presentation, better to start from a case, no? a recent judgment by a local court, for example, about social housing, start from a case in Milano, in Praga, wherever you want. It's much better than starting from uh, the law. If the law is too abstract, uh, is too generic, it's a bit boring, while a case may attract the attention of the audience much more concrete, especially if you have not uh, time to really interpret the law, which could be boring, it could be difficult, it could be an hard task, while describing a specific case and giving the answer of the court, and explaining the answer of the court, would be more, much more interesting in this type of presentation. Maybe some more boys. If if <laughs> 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 um, so um, when it comes uh, to the uh, grades from your essays, we will make an appointment with our whole group of lecturers, uh, probably, probably in the next week or uh, the week after that, and. We will give you the feedback uh, for each of your group of, of the grade. That's uh, first. But the second point, um, I, I'd like also make an evaluation from students uh, who aren't present here. So I probably put on the campus a uh, kind of quiz so you know, an enquieta, enquieta survey yeah for for you uh, and uh, um, ask you to say what what was good what was bad and what will be the changes uh, necessary in in your opinion and um, last questions for uh, next question request from me uh, when you will going out please sign the participation list has it? Yeah? Um, Everybody signed, right? Yeah? Yes. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much for that. And um, I think that I could close this panel discussion one more time. Thank you very much for coming, uh, for your engaging. Thank you, and see you soon. Thank you.